Salve YouTube and welcome to part number five, episode number five of my single player campaign for Sparta. So last time uh, I read your guys' comments and um, region, I saw what some of you guys, uh, lady, 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 why do I have to turn you off every time? Anyway, so yeah, I saw your guys' um, kind of advice and um, let's go ahead and recap what happened last turn uh, the Spartans won a great victory uh, in Konossos against Konossos here in Hyra Pitna I guess that's how you pronounce it um, yeah we did very well we were outnumbered and uh, oops Um, please phone. Let me just go ahead and put my phone on silent here, guys, so I don't annoy you with the constant social media stuff. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that people were telling me, hey, GD, don't have the same building in the same province uh, at once. And yes, that is probably something that I wasn't aware of when I was playing earlier, so... Um, we already are going to have a Holsederos Barracks here. We don't really need this one. And we can convert this to another type of building altogether. We're going to delete that. We have 1,900. We're not really making lots of money. Uh, so let's see what gives us the most wealth. This actually might be kind of good. We have plenty of food, so that's not too concerning. This is dismantling. This is dismantling. This is building. So that's good. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tab map here and see what our future uh, is going to entail. So to the west, we've got the Romans. Uh, I don't know what the extent of the Romans are, but we can see that Magna Graecia still belongs to the Carthaginians and the Syracuseans, I guess just Syracuse. We have all of Hellas, all of Macedonia. Thrace is looking like a very um, uh, fragmented body at the moment. Uh, but I'm still I'm considering going into Illyria. I don't know if Rome ever goes into Illyria because I've only really played as Rome in my other long campaign that I don't record. Um, I do. Oh my God! Look at the Seleucids here. Very powerful. Seleucids are going to be a very major uh, major force in the Mediterranean, uh, and uh, Cyrenaica is also looking tough here in Libya. So. I think the best form uh, or the best action, the best course of action is to expand into Thracia, see if Dacia has more to offer. And then if I can maybe uh, start over uh, here to the north of the Caspian Sea, maybe I can start to get some um, some territory here. Um, and the advantage, I guess, to taking this would be that all my northern borders are going, kind of going to be uh, protected uh, just because there are no factions there. So... Let's go ahead and start planning that. Uh, we've got this army here. I'm not really fighting against the Trevali. Uh, the oh, Pergamon has actually stepped into here. Pergamon only has two territories now. I think I was talking in my earlier videos about attacking Pergamon here uh, just to get a foothold in, in Asia Minor in Illyria. And then I can push across here and take um, uh, what remains of the Macedonian forces. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, so this army of... A lot of Perioikois in this army here, and some Helots. No real Spartan meat except my general. Can't really recruit much either at the moment. Uh, let's take a look at my armies. I've got two major armies and a spy up here. My so where's the spy going? Yeah, let's see. It looks like the spy was trying to head into the... The Aegean Sea here, the Aegean Sea, just so to... Just so the spy can reach Pergamon in time, so. Let's see if we can take Anthea from the Macedonians. Alright, so let's march out of Pella. Uh, these guys are kind of worrying, but um, I'm going to leave them there for now. No real events. Just take a look at my objectives before we um, before we jump in. Alright, so here we go. Chapter objectives. We've got that done, that done, that done. Okay, that's good. Alright. 
Uh, there is a food and bread, I think, edict going on here. I think we can issue an edict in Sparta. Sparta needs some public order. So mercenary negotiation, noble philanthropy. We've got commercial stimulation, food and games, tax harvesting. Food and games has been changed to plus 10 public order. I think it was plus 4 previous to the patch. So we're going to do food and games in Sparta, Athens, and the rest of uh, uh, Hellas. And we are going to now start marching our troops. Wait, this territory belongs to Pergamon. I don't really want to piss the Pergamon guys off. Um, these guys look to be in ambush. So, uh, let's move out of Pella here and uh, head out into the sea. Uh, this could have been a bad idea, actually. But these aren't navies. They're regular armies, so that's not too much of a problem. Yes. We'll just go directly to Athena here. Uh, as you can see now, he's trying to um, go around. But next turn, we that will cure them all. What are we researching here? I'm doing some commerce research or economy research. Um, and that's good because I need to get rich. Or die trying. <laughs> uh, that's wonderful. Okay, so what's going on here? I am canceling the repair of unfinished building. We'll leave it. Oh, these are... Okay. We'll see how um, this city here does after the turn. Let's go ahead and end and see uh, what's going on. So Rome is doing some maneuvers here. I must say the south of Italy is looking very, very vulnerable now. Look at the Syracuse army. Macedon is landing. They're consolidating everything in Athenae and uh, Anthea. Athenae and Anthea. And it looks like that they're trying to uh, maybe do a last stand. But the Spartans up until this stage have been very used to besieging towns and killing them. Pergamon is also moving reinforcements into Thrace. That's not good. This faction has been destroyed. Okay. Peace negotiated between Delmate and Triboli. Roman Syracuse form an alliance? What? Incredible. Oh, look at all that money's. Objective issue. If you wish for peace, prepare for war. Si vis pacem para bellum. Your endeavors will not go unopposed. Prepare for the inevitable. Raise forces capable of conquering your enemies and protecting your people. Maintain 60 units in total. And I'll get $10,000 or talents. So we've got construction finishing. We've got the edict issued here. Household expands. Let's send that to the pool. Trouble populace in Hellas. They're indifferent. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck life! <laughs> Path blocked. Yes, we are aware of this. Let's continue our commerce research. Actually, I'm going to go with aqueduct just because that'll help my public order. Okay. Ready for orders. So, I don't know how well this is going to go for me, but going ashore. let's go ahead and land. We Gathering will recruit supplies. we will recruit uh, mercenaries if we require Okay, so we've got lots of money. This is the time to kind of do some SimCity. So, what can we build here that we haven't already built? This looks good. This will give us food. Over here, we already have pretty much everything. Mm. More public order, or order will always be nice. And we can always expand these differently. The, um, the consecrated grounds. So, I'm going to... I think I might have cancelled one last turn, but whatever. I'm going to still go ahead with that. Um, let's see here. Let's see. What gives me most wealth? I'm going to build a slave trader there. Uh, let's go ahead and expand Pella. Even though Pella is a little... Actually, no, I'm not going to expand Pella just yet because right now it's not looking very secure here. This area is very volatile, so I'm better off doing upgrades in areas that I know are more near my mainland. So towns like Athenae, towns like Sparta that are less likely to be attacked by enemies. 
All right, so it seems that uh, our Hellas province has finally started to stabilize. Uh, we've got food here, food, so much food happening everywhere. Six food versus four food, but I think the sh the cattle, this one, gives us more wealth. So I'm going to go with that one. Don't really need that much food at the moment. This gives me lots of food. I'm going to also change that to another slave trader. And the reason I'm doing all these slave trader guys is because I am going to start taking slaves in my conquests. A lot of people used to complain how when they're playing as Rome, um, all their generals would lose authority and whatnot and get more zeal and become warrior kind of things. And I think that's because... Mo most people that play this game just kind of butcher the uh, uh, the the captives. I'm not gonna do that. So let's see here. This gives me security, wealth from all commerce buildings. I like that. I like that a lot. So look at that. We've we're improving infrastructure a lot. And if I'm doing any of this thing, uh, if you guys think that. You know, I could probably be doing this a little bit better. Please, guys, don't hesitate to tell me. Uh, I have some mercenary hoplites here. Let's go ahead and disband, disband these guys. Don't really need them. They've done their job. And um, I'm going to actually send this main army, put it into forced march, and we are going to uh, set course to Pergamon. So we're going to assault Pergamon here. And uh, hopefully, Ready for by orders. the time that by the time we're done with uh, Anthea, this army has already uh, reached the coast of Pergamon, and we can assault Pergamon in two locations at once. That uh, way, we'll kind of spread their forces out. Things are looking pretty good for us right now. Let's take a look at diplomacy before we end this turn. Let's see if Rome On is wanting to maybe wealth. trade. Speak. Of Rome. How much money do I have? No, not much. They're probably not gonna no, not gonna change anything. Uh, we've got a lot of these guys. The Seleucids. Hello, Seleucids. Enter, friend, and would you speak. like to trade? No, they we don't. Surely have much would you like to an aggression pact? No, they wouldn't. Much to agree. Okay, well, screw you, Seleucids. Bithynia, do Welcome you like to trade? No one wants to trade with Sparta, man. Sit. Enjoy the <laughs> pleasures of my home. Hello? And let us find a call. The game froze for a little bit there. Did you guys see that? That was worrying. Tell Mate. They're, clo they're close to me. I don't know if they'd want to... No one wants to trade with me. Yeah, I'm going to need to start spending maybe my money to maybe gather some allies. Syracuse, though. Syracuse and Rome could be a very strong ally for me. If I manage I to... to your I think I'm going to play on the harp of Syracuse here very soon. I'm going to pluck their harp. <laughs> and uh yeah if i can become friends with syracuse i could put rome in my back pocket and then maybe um i can not worry about the west the western side here at all and i can expand further into the north and maybe eastwards and eventually clash with the mighty seleucids in the east and who knows maybe egypt will be a long time foe or a long time enemy so public order is stabilizing in all of our provinces except athenai here why is athenai well, we are building this. This is going to give us some public order. We do have an edict issued as well. It's not looking fabulous. Hmm. Maybe I should hold off on this guy and build the... Which one was it? This one over here. This gives me culture and public order. I'm going to go ahead and do that. We can hold off on the slaves for now. Um, Larissa, 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 Larissa is capable of an upgrade. We get food, we get growth, we get wealth, we get research rate upgrade, and we get 40 olive oil. And we get a really good uh, garrison here in the Larissa. Let's go ahead and upgrade Larissa as well. Also give us... Oh, we're not really going to be uh, expanding Larissa very soon, so we need an incentive or a way for surplus to start stacking up, and with this upgrade, that'll help. So let's go ahead and end this turn. Oh, I forgot to move my spy there. I always forget to move my agents. It's almost like I need to like start playing with my agents first because I always forget them. So the Macedonians... 
Oh, looking like they were about to do a sandwich maneuver there. I would have been impressed. Really impressed. I wonder if I attack the Macedonians, if the if the army of Pergamon over there will actually help them out. I wonder. We'll have to look at the diplomacy tab and see how Pergamon feels about Macedon and vice versa. Hidden agent exposed from Alexandria. Mission issued. Recruit the following agent, a champion. Reward, martial skill. What is this? Plus five champion action chance of success while they're being recruited. Um, Ready for battle. I don't think my army's really... Oh, this guy is fortifying. And look at this. This is actually a very smart move by the Macedonians. We they're probably going to get... Um, look at this. I'm, I'm stuck. I can't really do anything. So it looks like my Spartan army here is going to have to... If I put it in... See, they, they can't reach just yet. But I'm going to give the Macedonians something to think about. And I'm actually going command. to use this unit I here to try and maybe intercept there and do some sabotage. Bring their numbers down a little bit. This reduces equipment bonuses for all units in the ineffective where units have no equipment bonuses. I don't think they have equipment bonuses. Let's go ahead and try to poison their provisions. 40% chance of success. Only 300. I do Yes! Well done, Tamandra. Tamandra the Saboteur. Alright, Tamandra. I like the I like the incite unrest thing. It really does help sometimes. But uh, I think I'm gonna give her the movement for now. Oh, manipulation is really good too. Yeah, let's go with manipulation. Very indecisive about this. I but so. uh, I think that's why I like the campaign. You can... Sometimes there's not really a right choice. So what is this? Apollonia. I think Apollonia is looking safe. I mean, I don't think the Romans are going to um, really have any problem with us. So let's, uh, let's go look at Syracuse real fast. So Syracuse are unreliable and they're also expansionists, but they're better than Rome. So... Greetings, they do guests. like us better. Let's I try to give them some money. Ears and Listening Let's and start with a 1,120 well payment. It's still low. Wow, these guys are rough, yo. Let's try this. Still low. Wow. Just a non-aggression pack. They don't. They don't want anything. Maybe Rome will be a little bit more forgiving if we pay Rome. Hey, Rome. Be welcome. Let us talk and then if enjoy I pay you Roman money, will you not agreed. attack me? No. Okay, Rome. Screw you. I think they're they're not happy because I'm trading with Carthage. I wonder if I do this. On if I go... Senate, if I break Smith, trade agreement with Rome, Carthage and, honor us all with wit and, and I ask for a non-aggression pact, will that, or maybe trade with you and maybe I'll pay you a little bit of money on top of that, how will you feel about that? Sons of bitches. Fine. Fine, Rome! You can go die! Diplomacy has failed us today. And so that army is now out of its uh, thingy majig. No, it's not. It's still in its thingy majig, but now I can assault it. And I'm just going to go ahead and auto-resolve that battle. And let's take an aggressive stance, because why not? Alright, so we have 79 people. They're going to be excellent helots back in Sparta. Ready for further orders. Ready for orders. Alright, let's see here. This gives me wealth in the region that he's in. This gives me authority. This gives me zeal. And holy moly options. Alright, so this gives me zeal and income from looting settlements. I'm not going to be doing a lot of loot. Artillery command. Gives siege and heavy ship recruits. Boosts. Minus 10 morale for all the enemy units. I really like that one. Dread. Public order. Experience ranks for infantry. That's actually pretty cool. Defensive battles, offensive battles, cav, swimming bone, swimming bone, I thought that was swimming, ramming bonus. Uh, I do like the, this one though. It makes the army cost less and it gives me a bunch of authority. Charge bonus for all units. This is one that gives me movement. 
Which one was it? What's this? Pelte. A shield of skins may protect the bearer from plus five armor. Interesting. So he's already giving boosts to armor. Uh, this gives wealth bonus. Religious building construction costs 10 wealth from... Mm. Looks like this guy would be a guy that would be good kind of staying back if I do go that route with devotion. Minus 20% religious building construction cost. That means I can build the public order buildings very quickly, those purple ones. And very cheap as well. And I also get wealth from the culture building. So he, he will be a... He will help uh, provinces grow extremely quickly and help stabilize them. So I'm going to actually go with that. He's not really going to be a military general. More of a... On the road again. More Ready of... Um, more of a, a person that kind of grows... So we're going to go ahead and Make move into men. Athena, and I think we can go ahead and actually assault it. Yeah, we will. Kind of auto-resolve, and uh, let's uh, go ahead and be aggressive again. That's a good amount. More slaves. More Macedonian slaves. And which one? I think loot is the one that makes them all... Um, all captives are enslaved. Let's go ahead and do that. Also looting. Ready for orders. We have some military traditions to spend. Six campaign movement range. That wouldn't be very useful. Let's see. Hmm. I think this is the best one, for this army at least. Alright, so I think the Macedonians are now very weak, very limited. Um, not really doing very well. We have looted uh, Anthea, and let's go ahead and build a slave trader here. Things are looking... Ooh. People are not happy here. I think it's this building. No, what what's causing the discomfort? Why are these guys not happy? Let's look at the details here and try to figure out why they're so unhappy. So they're very unhappy because of... Oh, provincial instability. That'll go away next turn. I don't like uh, the slaves. Obviously, slaves will bring me down, but they will give me lots of wealth. You can see how we went from 400 to 2,000 in income in one turn. I really don't like this army here. I really, really do Oh, crap. That's a Macedonian army. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Can I get there in time? It is an honor to serve. Row. Shit. Row. Row. I can't. It. I can't get the Pella in time. Fudge Cracker Nuggets. That is very unfortunate. Pella has 10 garrison though and 2 ships against these units. I think I can handle it. I think I'll be able to handle it just fine. So... Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and repair that first. We can't repair those yet because we're broke. Let's try again with the Rome. I'm just going to keep hey, now throwing non-aggression pack deals at them. I don't know if it actually does anything, but why Greetings, not? Greetings. Okay, don't lose anything. Maybe Rhodes, Rhodos can... If I can give you a fair answer. Oh. oh, you little... All right, next turn, next turn, next turn, next turn. I'll throw some money at them. You Tripoli. Welcome, although my ancestors and peep. I'm not really going to play around with them. The Royal Scythians, they're going to be the next um, the next DLC for sure. What about Sardis? Trade agreement with if Sardis? If I can give you no. a fair answer, you will have it. Okay, Sardis. Historically, Sparta didn't very much like the Illyrian Greeks. They... Th they viewed them as um, Greeks that were overextending and 
Uh, we're only asking the Persians to um, attack them. Oh, look at that. Macedonian army actually being smart instead of just throwing itself at me. That's, uh, that's refreshing to see here. But uh, that's a big mistake because they're going to allow my, uh, my army here to get back into the mainland. Once I'm in the mainland, even if they do take one of my settlements, I will be able to hastily reacquire it. So yeah, Sparta didn't really view the Illyrian Greeks that uh, that highly, and um, Athens used to think that, oh no, they're Greeks, we gotta stand by them, we gotta protect them. Sparta was like, yeah, they should just come back. Mission failed, yeah. Not really interested in recruiting that right now. So let's go ahead and push these guys out. Um... I'll let them kind of see. Uh, Thenai is stabilizing here. Let's convert this to a Hellenistic hamlet. Let's recruit. Uh, this is going to give me food. What is this building? A homestead. It's an agricultural building. I can change. Let's just actually tear it down. Let's repair the port in that city. Pella. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to save some money because I need to throw some money at some trade partners here. Okay, why are these guys still unhappy with me? Uh, how do I stop provincial instability? Hmm. Gotta definitely increase public order. Hopefully my aqueduct research will be done and I can start building aqueducts in these towns. I'm going to convert this down. That's giving me a lot of public squalor. I've got plenty of food. I don't really need that. Can I convert this into something that gives me more public order? No. Amphitheater is more than enough. Uh, okay. This army is just going to keep getting more and more uh, kind of beaten up. Ready for orders. Um, I think I'm safe to start heading into Pergamon very, very shortly. But the problem is Anthea doesn't really have a lot of garrison in it. Ready for battle. So... What if I use this army to sweep down here, kill this, and then push with this army down into Pergamon? And then this army can go back, stabilize in Pella for a little bit, or station in Pella for a little bit. Um, uh, how we, oh, we'd have to go through the mountains there. And we're trespassing into Pergamon territory here. Ready for orders. And we can now go right into there, attack these guys, auto resolve, let's be aggressive. I'll just um, kill the captives this time. I won't take them. Ready for orders. And we will set our thing to double time. And Roll we will try to get into Pergamon ASAP. Computer. Whoa. What is this? Hey guys, well, it appears that my computer is derping the herp derps. Um, but the, we're heading about the 30 minute mark now, if my timer is correct. Anyway, yeah, about 27 minutes in the episode. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, episode number five. Oh, there we go. It just fixed itself. Um, episode number six is going to come out very shortly. I'm actually going to record it right after this one. So. Uh, thanks for watching guys if you again if you have any tips for me please do let me know in the comments section below and I'll try my best to um, to kind of figure out uh, what your guys' comments are about I'm not really great campaign player but I do enjoy it uh, actually before we do end the episode let me just do one thing real fast I want to go to Rhodes oops want to go to Rhodes and I, I want to tell them, hey, let's the trade, dance. and... Oh, hi. I didn't even need to do anything. Maybe Syracuse is going to be happier to trade now. Welcome, welcome. In a spirit of Olympian hospitality, no, they're I not going to take it. And we'll listen with care. Yeah, they're not going to take it, so...
I don't actually need to spend money on roads. I was supposed to end the episode, but um, these guys don't need anything. It's these guys that I'm concerned about. The public order here is not looking not looking good at all. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to deal with that very shortly. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.